Hey guys, it's me Kim from Frankency Blog. I'm having a little bit of a struggle with the camera. I hope it will focus. Anyways, um, today I am going to do a review about one of my newest fragrances in my collection. Um, the fragrance I'm going to talk about today is Serge Lutens Fouro Noir Eau de Parfum. And I will tell you everything what you'd like to know about this scent. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kim. I do perfume reviews. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I will continue with the story. So, this is my first Serge Lutens fragrance. Fouro Noir is a lavender based perfume and honestly I never liked the scent of lavender um, I always thought it was a little bit I don't know old-fashioned in a way but there have been some fragrances in the past few months that contain lavender that really surprised me this is not a fresh lavender scent it's a very sweet and powdery one so the perfume was created um, in 2009 and it is by Serge Lutens, like I already said. And the fragrance uh, or the nose behind this was Christopher Sheldrake. This was actually only available in the Paris uh, store Serge Lutens in France. That was the worst line ever. Anyway, um, it was created in a very beautiful bell jar. I will insert an image and it was only available over there. Um, so you could say it was kind of an exclusive scent. Yeah, but still, it's still a little bit difficult to get your hands on these fragrances nowadays. This fragrance is not for the, how do I say that? Beginners nose or beginners fragrance collectors, whatever you call it, um, because I think it's a very, uh, this is difficult to wear and you guys know I really like strange interesting fragrances and this is definitely one of them. Mm. My first association with the perfume was that it smells very dark, very mysterious, um, very, uh, I don't know, it's almost a little bit creepy. I made a video about creepy scents a long time ago. I will link it below if you are interested. It was like a funny video. I got the, I think, it's, I'm not sure if this is called the travel, travel size because um, it is 60 ml of Eau de Parfum and um, it looks like this. It has a very beautiful black um, travel case. It looks very art deco, I think. The funny thing with this perfume is that, and I hope I can seem to show, oh yeah. This one is filled with the fragrance. It's, that one is still in the box, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. So yeah, it looks like you are buying a very, I don't know, small perfume, but it actually is 60 ml. Um, the name, Furo, Furo Noir. Um, and I looked it up, so I'm looking, I'm reading from my iPad right now. Um, on the Serge Lutens website, there was this quote by um, Mr. Lutens himself, and he said that a furo in French means a sheet for a dagger as well as a form fitting dress. So it's a metaphor, if you guys know what I mean. Ready to embrace. The voluptuous contours of a widow's body. Um, so I think it's a genius description and name for a perfume. This is, I mean, if you look at this, you wouldn't really say that this is a perfume bottle. Um, there is no brand name anywhere. Imagine leaving this in a hotel and someone finds this and it's like, mm, this smells good, but there is nothing, no sign of brand or anything. Uh, so it will always be a mystery. Um, 
so yeah, I don't know. It's a small detail, but I really like it. And um, yeah, it keeps it more interesting in my opinion. There is a little bit of patchouli, but it's like very little, I think. And some people really get a very musky scent from this, but I don't. If you are looking for a good musk, um, Serge Lutens has a fragrance called Claire de Musk, which is really good. And all his perfumes have an amazing performance. And I think that the price and quality is very good. Um, I will tell you guys what I've paid for this one because it's ridiculously low. But I'm not going to tell it yet. This scent, I'm just going to spray it on my hand. Matter. Starts with lots of Tonka vanilla. It's almost a little bit licorice, kind of. It's very... You can't really get your... You don't really know what you're smelling. I think the lavender mixed with uh, tonka bean makes it a very licorice kind of scent. It's very dark, mysterious and the lavender is very sweet. Um, mm, this fragrance is very... I would say it's a syrupy, mysterious, cloudy, powdery sweet lavender scent. Um, it's almost a gourmand because it smells like food a little bit. Um, I think it could have been an amouage perfume. I think it smells very... Um, yeah, it's very oriental and also gourmandish. Uh, I can imagine that if Amouage would have like a black bottle with a with a purple cap or something like that, um, I would I would totally believe it. So it's just a very strange scent. A lot of people think that this is a very masculine perfume. Um, I think it's perfect for both men and women, but it's definitely a scent you can't wear in. Um, every single occasion. It's a very specific scent. I do think it's more of a nighttime fragrance, but yeah, it's just not something you would wear to an office or uh, when you work as a dentist, you know, jobs where you are very close to people. I won't wear this fragrance. It's definitely something that is very, very niche um, and strange and weird and that's that's why I'm having a little bit of a hard time <laughs> doing this review because it's such a weird scent. But yeah, that's also the um, reality of being a fragrance YouTuber. Sometimes it's just very difficult to describe a perfume. And um, as you guys know, I always do my uh, videos very spontaneously. So of course I have some notes here on my iPad, um, but these are just like, I don't know, like sticky notes, um, nothing really specific. The real review is right now, I'm filming it just, yeah. So yeah, now talking about the price, because this was for a Dutch retail price, was 110 euros. Um, I think it's a good price because you get 60 ml Eau de Parfum, you don't need a lot of it. You get a very unique, special product that once was an exclusive. Um, but last week sales started at the department store I work at and suddenly this scent got 70% off and I have a little bit of how do I say that discount because I work at that place and I only paid 26 euros for this um, and it's ridiculous they had another one the iris silver mist it's a very heavy powdery iris scent I never smelled an iris scent so heavy um, but that one was already sold and um, I don't know, I, I kind of feel sad that I didn't bought it because it 
was just the best price ever. But yeah, I paid 26 euros for it and um, it's just, I don't know, a ridiculously cheap price. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will make a separate blog post about this scent as well. But um, my blog hasn't been updated in a long time. And I'm currently working on a redesign. And I hope that it will be live by the start of July. Um, and I'm trying to write some new articles. And yeah, I want to do more with my blog since I really like to write. And it's a different way of expressing creativity. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much. By the way, this is a request because I'm looking for a new YouTube agency. Um, I was uh, with an agency, but that uh, contract ended. So I'm currently looking for another agency. And if you be, and if you are someone that works at a YouTube agency and supports YouTubers, please send me a message. Um, I would love to be part of your network. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you guys soon. Bye bye.